In this video, we will show you how to navigate and log in to Verisay Mobile. Verisay Mobile is a browser based application built to function equally on a mobile device such as a tablet computer or smartphone, or a laptop or desktop computer with Wi Fi connectivity. It is a zero footprint application, which means you don't need to download anything. To access Verisay Mobile, visit the web address http colon forward slash forward slash mobile dot dot co dot uk. Verisay Mobile works in all modern web browsers, including Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Safari, and Internet Explorer 8 or higher. The recommended browsers are Chrome or Safari, and the recommended connections are 4G, LTE, or Wi-Fi. To log in, enter the username and password you have been given and click the Login button. The first time you log in, you will be asked to accept the terms and conditions by reading through the agreement and clicking on the I agree button. You will then be prompted to change your password. Remember your login name and password are case sensitive and your password will have to be at least eight characters of various types. You will get a confirmation that your password has been updated and you can now log in to your account. The Verisay mobile dashboard is your home page. It offers a number of tiles that display a range of information and shortcuts. You can configure your dashboard to match your needs with each tile providing access to filtered content. You will be given a default set of tiles similar to these. Tiles show at a glance a wide range of work order types and statuses. To change your user account details, your password and other system settings, click on your name and then the user preferences option. Make sure that your name, contact number and email address are correct. Your email address is particularly important if you ever forget your password. You should change your password from time to time to make sure the system is secure. To do this, select change password and follow the on-screen instructions. We can also use this screen to set the default sort order of work orders in the tables and the order of the tiles on the dashboard. The recommended dashboard order setting is all tiles by order. Always be sure to save your changes when you are finished. The navigation menu accessed here gives you options to navigate the application with the submenus available by clicking on the main headings. For example, the action submenu allows you to perform certain functions, such as changing your location, defining filters, creating work orders, scanning asset tags, and performing searches. Let's click on the search option to have a look at this function. There are three categories that can be used to search, by asset, by store, and by work order. The search fields you are given will change dynamically based upon the search type. Let's search for work orders beginning with the numbers 579. To do this, just type in the search criteria and click search. The search returns the results as a smart grid. The smart grid will allow you to perform several useful functions on your data. You can filter your information by clicking on the filter button and then adding the information you wish to filter by. For example, you could filter by work order number or by asset number and then press search. By clicking on the column button, you can choose the columns you wish to display. Place a tick in the box and the associated column will be shown in your smart grid. Untick the box and the column is no longer shown. Here, ticking the location box has added the location details to our results. Clicking in the blue column header will sort your results. For example, these results are now sorted by status. We can click additional columns to further sort our smart grid. As well as being able to use the dashboard tiles to access the outstanding work orders, we can also access the outstanding work orders using the navigation menu. From the navigation menu, select Service, then select Outstanding Work Orders. 
the table of outstanding work orders is displayed. If you found this training useful, please like our video on YouTube. Please visit our website www.4.co.uk for further information regarding Verisay training.